Red is Hot by Deborah Goulding, narrated by Deborah Goulding. I love cinnamon red hots. Oh, look at all these chocolates just for me, I squeal in delight. Bags of candy hearts are amongst several other sugary treats hidden away. My son calls, interrupting my visual overload. What's that, Jasper? I act all coy and innocent of his accusations. No, there isn't any candy left from Sweetie's Day. My dishonest response is convincing. I could easily pass a lie detector test. Unfortunately, my obsession has caught up with me, and not in a good way. My recent diagnosis has me a bit troubled. I have confided this information to Kim, my friend, although I affectionately call her the voice of America. As expected, she delivers this news. It's spreading like wildfire in our close-knit neighborhood. I'm receiving way more attention than I'm comfortable with. Kim on cue delivers a quiche piping hot from her oven. Here you go. It has mushrooms, tomatoes, and a couple other veggies that I subbed out for the bacon. Just enough Swiss to make it extra yummy. Wow, so kind and thoughtful of you, Kim. I can hardly wait to dig in. An hour or so later, another knock at the door. Hello there, Nellie. What have you brought me? Knowing full well, as I've prematurely snatched the bag away from her, the intoxicating scent instantly intrigues my senses. Oh, it's nothing. Just a scratch-made seed at sourdough that I started last Saturday. I can see Nellie is waiting for my gushing and exuberant response. My gratitude has immediately been received. Over the next few days, word got out. My neighbors have inundated me with healthy meals and fresh picked veggies from their garden so patiently tended. I shall start over tomorrow with better decisions. This recent diagnosis is a wake-up call. Opening the cabinet was my candy stash. Cinnamon Red Hots, boxes of candy, hearts, and plenty of chocolate to keep me happy. It was for me, from me. Deciding to do what's right, I reluctantly discard my sugary treats to the outside receptacle in an honest attempt to reverse my diagnosis.